cinematography with Spotman. What is up guys, welcome back to another video, my name is Sparkman, today I want to show you some cinematography in iClone 7. So let me try this example here, if you're planning to go to film school, today is your lucky day, because I already went to film school, and I can tell you it's bu- You can actually learn more on YouTube than, than going to film school. Trust me, seriously, it's a waste of money. Now, I'm not saying it's a complete waste of money, you can get contacts and contacts lead you to uh, maybe creating some sort of commercial or something or I don't know but trust me most times you're going to get hired as a production assistant and you're like oh my god I'm a production assistant oh you mean you bring coffee to the director yeah I guess I, that, 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 if you want to put it that way and sometimes that's a sad reality okay and uh, that's why I more advocate for uh, independent filmmaking okay you are your you are your own producer but now with YouTube and the internet who needs a producer okay if you get good people are going to watch it all right that, that's that's just the way it is so let's begin the intricate process of moving the camera on the screen okay so here is our scene and uh if you press play you notice that this lady plays an animation okay so basically she is your actor and you now are the director well at least the director of photography so here is the play needle, I'm gonna bring the play needle all the way to frame 1400 and uh, we simply are going to select our character and you zoom in okay and frame the shot this is called the medium shot right there and if you uh, play this now you can see that the camera begins to move as if, as if it was in a dolly track You can see this looks very cinematography like already. There you go. And it doesn't look cheesy. Okay. The only thing I don't like is that uh, the shot doesn't end on her um with her looking at the camera. So all we're going to do is now just rotate this a little bit. Maybe zoom in a little bit more. Uh, a little bit up a little bit more so we can see some of her bibs very important for cinematography and make sure that she's actually looking at the camera there we go and press play space bar is play by the way but look how professional this looks right away nothing amazing no amazing tricks or anything you just have the camera zoom in okay that looked really bad there all right that looked terrible uh if that happens to you don't worry click on this button here find the camera there's a keyframe right there so let me just delete this one here okay i select the character and rotate this make sure that uh, she's looking at the camera that might be a little too close. We want to we wanna see her bibs, well, not her boobs, but... There we go. Bring it up a little higher. That's like a medium shot. And you're thinking, okay, why not center this? Okay, and uh, we're going to talk about that uh, in later episodes of uh, cinematography. And like I said, guys, I already went to film school, and I can tell you that it's, uh, uh, you're not going to learn anything different than what you are going to learn on YouTube at least from people who know what they're talking about so let me just uh, play this back again it's the sound of music I think you need some music here in the background she goes out of frame there a little bit but that's fine not too bad, it's not, okay, not terrible, I think this should be like this. Uh, let me just select my character again. So let me just change this a little bit. We're going to talk about the golden spiral sometime after. For now, just frame your shot somewhere around here. In later chapters, we're going to touch on that. Right now, just do this. 
Okay, let me just uh, maybe a little lower. Like a crawling camera. Should you be framed around this area all the time? Okay, so we loosen some of her head there. Let's go up a little higher. Like so. There we go. And press play. Okay, she should be here. Now, for this particular shot, we want our character to remain somewhere around this area. Okay, we're losing her there. Bring her a little closer. Try it again. Okay, we can thin to the camera back again over here. Okay, we'll loosen her again, so I'll bring her back here. We lost her there for a second, so let me just delete that there, maybe do it all the way to here. Try it again. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we do want her to stay around this area. So there you go, guys. Already this looks more cinematic already. So let me just play this again. Alright, there we go. So we did some simple cinematography to make this look a bit more professional looking. Okay, we did nothing special. I'm gonna cover more topics of cinematography, which you can use in game development and in video projects. Okay guys, now is your turn, so smack the like button down below and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also, there is a bell next to the subscribe button, guys, so click on that bell and you will be notified about new videos. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. Bye now.